I thought, I'm, I'm just itching to make something again. And I, what I love about the short film is there's no commercial imperative. You can make a short film at a fraction of the cost. You're still engaging all the parts of the process. It's such an exciting process. And without this overbearing millstone around one's neck, which is like a commercial objective, actually very liberating. And it's the advice I always give to feature filmmakers, which is if when they're, when they're trying to get their feature film off the ground, don't stop, go make that short. If you've only got five grand, make it for five grand. If you've got no money, make a short for no money. Just keep working. And, and I'm so glad I did it, because the, the, from the beginning to end, it was like a three month process, from maybe a bit longer, from writing the initial first draft to finishing it last Friday, when we did the credits, I have had the most wonderful, exciting, liberating time. It's completely connected me again to the art of filmmaking. I wanted to tell a story about what's going on in the world. Um, and post-Brexit, Trump, also this idea of um, identity. And I was seeing so many stories of, of abuse at the till or in the bus queue that, that even I as a Greek Cypriot had never experienced. And I had like, I had, we have a Greek Cypriot friends who run fish and chip shops. And they had said for the first time in 40 years, someone had come into the shop and said, when are you going home? Even just as a joke. So when, when are you going home then? For me, it wasn't about, you know, taking on white supremacists. This was about this low level every day Poison. So that was my starting point. I wanted to tell a story there. Like with Papadopoulos and Sons, I tried to ask, you know, what is success? Um, what I tried to do in this short, and it's only short, and it's only 12 minutes, but I'm very proud of it because I think I do it, effectively say, this conflict is pointless. There wasn't really too much of a struggle with this at all. It seemed to be quite effortless from the very beginning. I wrote the first draft in three hours one Sunday, and it didn't really change much from that. Uh, the casting just kind of happened quite naturally. The sun shone when we needed it. I found a great DOP through a mutual friend. That relationship is key, is absolutely key. Chris Ferguson, um, Errol Ellis, the production designer, was a dream. Uh, working with Sophie and Sarah as producers, a dream. Pauline, editor, a dream. The actors, so, the two main actors, Sargon um, and Lawrence, just a dream to work with. Finding the older versions of those actors was great. Uh, in Alistair Cameron and Dimitri Andres, two incredible actors who just came to do one scene. Everyone that was involved, Kate Terrence who came to play the nurse, just again one scene. The two kids that we found to play the younger versions. The locations, we were so, we were so lucky with the locations as well. So, you know, everything seemed to fall in place. And on both shooting days, we finished early. And on the second day, we finished something like three hours early. It was something absurd. And, and I, I was scratching my head thinking I've done something wrong. <laughs> we finished early. What do you enjoy most about the filmmaking process? I love working and empowering other people. For me, it, brings, it makes me feel alive. When you're having com conversations with the production designer and they're getting emotionally excited about the possibilities, or you're having conversations with actors and they're getting excited about the possibilities. We, 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 talk, you know, we talked a lot about the freedom to play with the actors. And we're in rehearsals, we, the rehearsals are really about establishing a way of playing that was, was free. So that's when we came on to set to do it, they came, both, all the actors came with this confidence to play. And they played and they tried stuff. And, it'll, and you'll see it in the short. It's great what they do. Empowering everyone on set, taking away the fear of mistakes. 
Why? Because in the mistakes and the accidents, sometimes are these amazing creative discoveries. I cannot think of any art form that is so collaborative than filmmaking. And that is its joy, is that you are, as a film director, the absolute privilege of being able to work with a composer, you know, intensely, or work with an editor, intensely, work with a DOP, intensely, or work with a production designer, or the wardrobe guy, you know, um, Robert Lever. What a joy it is to work with Rob on designing the cost, working on the costume design, or hair and makeup. You know, that, that there's so many departments of creativity, and as the filmmaker, you get to work with each one. And that is incredible. I think Orson Welles described filmmaking as a, a giant train set. It's like, he's right, it's like you get to play with this giant train set. And as the, as the director, that is your absolute privilege, that you can work with all these different departments. Um, as well, obviously, the greatest joy is with the actors as well, because I trained as an actor. And for me, being in a rehearsal room with actors playing is, uh, is liberating. I said to everybody, if you could lose one person on the first day of principal photography, one key person, who would you lose? You know, would you lose the sound recordist, Simon Colmeyer? Amazing. I mean, just the best. Would I lose him? No. Would I lose the DOP? No. Could you lose one of the main actors on your first day of principal photography? No. You could probably lose the, you could probably lose the director, weirdly. And the thing would still get shot. And I said to Sargon and Lawrence, look, if I go down with some kind of food poisoning the night before and I can't make, make the first day of shooting, you're, you're direct. And they went, really? I went, yeah. You know what you need to do. And it's giving people that, scent, that permission to own what it is they do that excites me the most.